is the use of Kirchhoff's current law. We are minimizing the number of unknowns. See here we had assumed three unknowns I1, I2 and I3. Now when I write I3 equals to I1 minus I2, in this circuit the number of unknown currents, it reduces to 2 instead of 3. So because of redu reduction in the unknowns, we can reduce what the number of equations which are to be solved simultaneously to find out the unknowns. Now that how to solve these like equations using Kramer's rule or simultaneously that we will see afterwards. But this is basically Kirchhoff's current law. Now what is Kirchhoff's voltage law? Kirchhoff's voltage law is in a closed loop. Now what do you mean by closed loop? If I am starting from C, I should come back to the same point without any break, without any OK. Now see if I start from this point C, then I will go through 2 ohm resistance B, 1 ohm resistance, this resistance back to C. There is no interruption in the circuit. This means this is a closed circuit and the meaning of closed circuit is a loop. Now how many loops we can find in this particular circuit? There are three loops in this circuit. One is C, B, then this point is E, C, B, E, D, C. C, B, E, D, C. The second loop is, if I start from B, if the loop becomes B, A, F, E, B. So the second loop you will get is B, A, F, E, B. The third loop you will get, if I start from C, I will get the complete outer loop. Just skip this branch, you will get one more loop and it is C, B, A, F, E, D and C. See there are three loops. Okay, now for this loop, any of these loops, I have to, I can write a voltage equation using Kirchhoff's voltage law. What is Kirchhoff's voltage law? In a closed loop, in an electric circuit, the sum of voltage drops across the resistances is equal to the sum of EMFs. Or I can write down the algebraic sum of EMFs as well as voltage drops in a closed loop is always zero. So what is Kirchhoff's voltage law? It is sigma emf what is emf electromotive force for the source voltage is basically emf plus what sigma ir is equal to zero in a closed loop is kirchhoff's voltage law now if we apply kirchhoff's voltage law to this uh, particular dc circuit then we can find out the currents flowing through the various components of this circuit as well as voltages across this circuit which is called DC circuit analysis. Now first we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to first loop which is say A, B, E, F, A. Now if I write the voltage equation using Kirchhoff's law for loop A, B, E, F, A, we will start from point A. Now from point A to B, the first element is 3 ohm resistance and the current flowing through this resistance is I1. So what we can write for this as 3 into I1. The next is from B to E, the next element is 1 ohm resistance and the current is I2. So for this we can write 1 into I2. The next element from E to F is the resistance 2 and current is I1. So for this we can write 2 into I1. And the next element is the voltage source where we are going from minus to plus from F to A which is 24 volt source. Now we know this is voltage equation so either the terms are EMFs that is voltages or the terms are product of current into resistance. So the here the terms are 3 into I1, I1 into I2 and 2 I1 are the voltage drops across the resistances while 24 volts is a EMF source. Now the next is the signs, assignment of signs to all these voltage drops and the EMFs. Now what is the rule for assigning the signs for these voltage drops? The rule is if we are going from the positive terminal to negative terminal, it is fall in potential and for fall in potential we have to assign a minus sign for the voltage drop. Now since we are going from A to B in the direction of loop that is from plus to minus, for fall in potential the sign is minus. For the next drop that is from B to E, through this resistance again we are going from plus to minus in the direction of current. So this is again falling potential, the sign is minus.
The next one is from E to F. We are again going from plus to minus. So the sign is again minus. While in this branch from F to A, this is minus sign. And this is plus sign of the plus uh, terminal of the voltage source. So we are going from minus to plus, which is rising potential. And for the rising potential, the sign is plus. Now what is Kirchhoff's voltage law? Sigma EMF plus sigma IR is equal to zero. So equate this to zero. Now we will get the final equation as minus 3i1 minus 2i1 that is minus 5i1 minus i2 is equal to minus 24. Or I can write down 5i1 plus i2 is equal to 24. This is equation number 1. So in this way we can write voltage equation for one more loop. Why for only one more loop? Because there are two unknowns in this equation, in this circuit. What are these two unknowns? One is I1 and the other one is I2. So how many equations, how many loops we'll consider to find out currents in the circuit? We'll consider two different loops. While in these two loops, all the elements should get covered at least once. Then only we can find out what these unknowns I1 and I2. Now how to write the voltage equation? For the second loop, which is the second loop in this circuit, the second loop can be B, C, D, E, B, or it can be the outer loop A, B, C, D, E, F, A. See, in these two loops, loops, all the elements are getting covered at least once. So now I'll write equation for the second loop, which is so for loop B, C, D, E, B. The equation will get us from B to C. We, are start, we have started from B, we will end on B. So from B to C, the element, first element is 2 ohm resistance and the current is I1 minus I2. So the voltage drop will get us 2 into I1 minus I2. Since we are going from plus to minus in the direction of loop, sign of this is minus. Then from C to D, the source is voltage source where we are going from plus to minus. So again, this is fall in potential it will have a minus sign so we'll write here minus 12. Next is what from D to E we, again we are going from plus to minus so minus sign resistance value is 4 and the current is I1 minus I2. Now the very important thing is in this branch see in this branch we will go from E to B that is minus 2 plus so it will have minus 2 plus means positive sign that is plus into I2 into 1 is equal to 0. See, we have reached up to B, so write equal to and 0. Now, this is equation number 2. Now, see the difference in these two equations. Here, this 1 into I2 product has got minus sign, while here 1 into I2 has got plus sign. Why this difference is there? Because in the first loop, we travel from plus to minus, while in the second loop, we went from minus to plus. So here the signs are different. Now the two equations are say minus 2i1 and minus 4i1 will get this as what? Minus 6i1. Then minus 2 into minus i2 is plus 2i2. Well here also plus 4i2 so we will get plus 6i2 and one more i2 into 1 is there which is 1i2. So we will write here instead of 6i2 we will write here plus 7i2 and this minus 12 on right hand side it will become plus 12.